Okay, to really talk about what Mimix is doing here, we have to talk about something called the pixel value. Uh, a pixel value is a representation between 0 and 4096 of how light a pixel is. Um, every pixel has a different pixel value, and when you import an image into Mimix, it automatically scales the pixel values to something called the Hunsfield scale, or HU. Hunsfield scale sets the uh, pixel value of water to be 0, which means the minimum pixel value er, possible in an image is negative 1023. Okay, so what Mimix does with these different pixel values is it creates a 3D model called a mask. So to create a mask, you click on New Mask, and it will give you a thresholding option. So what thresholding does is it sets um, two boundaries for the uh, different pixel values that you want, and it'll put them all together into a 3D image. So there's predefined threshold sets, uh, which are right here. Um, so if I wanted to select all the bone in the image, I would use the predefined bone. If I wanted just compact bone, I could uh, just select what the Mimix is preset for compact bone. If I wanted fat tissue, I could select that, or skin tissue, which is everything. If the presets don't give you exactly what you want for a model, you can custom set your own threshold values by moving this around. So the more threshold values, or the more pixel values I take, the larger my mask is. And I can just play with it till I get something I like. Um, for this tutorial, we'll just choose bone. So go with bone and apply. So once you have your mask, you can then edit it by pressing edit mask, which is right here. So you can change the shape of y what your cursor and the size of it, and you can choose to draw, erase, or threshold. When you th use the threshold tool, you keep what is between the threshold values and erases everything else. So it sets the default at what the entire mask is. So in this case, our mask was between 226 and 2,544 pixels. And when you go over top of the bone, it still keeps the bone. You can choose to erase, which you kind of self-explanatory. You can erase a piece of the mask. And you can also choose to draw, and you can re-add. If you m had a mistake and messed up, you can always press undo, and it'll change back whatever you did. And you, when you're editing the mask this way, you have to do it slide by slide, so you have to scroll through and edit each slide in the mask.